What's up Outdoorsman, Greg here, and today we're doing a little catch and cook. Now before we can fry up some delicious bass, first we have to catch them. got to get a little serious here for a moment. It's been a rough couple of weeks. I've been really busy. For those that follow me and on social media, you've seen that I've had a lot going on with different stuff and super busy at work. And, and then I watched a video uh, this morning by my buddy Grant Appalachia on the hunt. I'll link to his channel down below and he made a wonderful video about the best deer burgers I've ever seen. And it just inspired me to get out and and get out on the water and try to catch dinner and I tell you it was a really good choice it just kind of just melts the stress away and I also want to give a shout out to my friend Eric from Atypical Outdoors who he's just inspired me all along this this journey of making videos for YouTube he's always been encouraging he runs a great channel he's a great dude uh, so check out Atypical Outdoors as well and then last but least, one of the guys that inspired me to start my YouTube channel, Steve from Adventure Outdoors. I love that guy. He's hilarious. His videos are always great, very creative. And um, I got to give a shout out to Steve. Thank you for making your channel and inspiring me to start mine. So there's really only one way to end that, and that's with a big old woo! Now that we caught him, it's time to cook him. It's really simple to fry fish. All you need is some seasoning, salt and pepper. I like to use Everglades seasoning. You gotta use a fryer and then something to bread your fish with. Uh, it's real important to keep bass nice and clean and trimmed. Here I'm cutting out all the bones just to make sure none of that is getting bit into. That's no fun. But I like to cut my fillets nice and small so they're easy to cook and they go faster. Then the next thing I do is put some lemon juice on the fillets and you don't have to be real careful about how much you use. I use Everglade seasoning and I'm not shy with it at all. Next, I'm just dumping them in the batter. There's some salt and pepper and some more Everglades mix into that uh, breading mixture. You can use flour and cornmeal. I use the seafood breader mix, but that would work. The next thing I like to do is fry my potatoes first because while your fish is cooking and you're doing your final preparations, you need something to snack on. So I always fry the potatoes first. Plus, if you do it that way, your potatoes don't end up tasting like fish. That, my friends, is the sound of happiness. A little bit of salt is all you need, and your potatoes are ready to snack on. Next, I'm going to put all the fish into the fry basket, and you can put a lot in there. Um, just drop it all on top of each other, it'll be fine. Into the hot grease it goes, and it does not take very long at all. Is there anything better than a fresh fried potato? Mm, maybe fresh fried fish. Woo. Now the fish is done when it's golden brown. It's real close right now. That's probably okay, but I'm gonna give it about mm, another 45 seconds and that's gonna be it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is perfection. And once your fish is done, you can pair it with a little bit of cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, or good old fashioned ketchup. My choice is ketchup, but it's nice and flaky and tender, 
and there's nothing better than fresh fried fish. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out some of my hunting and fishing videos. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of my other stuff. And you guys get outdoors.